Hi students, this animation and description would help you to learn physics even more easier and better. So please do watch it and enjoy learning physics. Force on a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field. Let us consider a conductor PQ of length L and area of cross section A. The conductor is placed in a uniform magnetic field of induction B, making an angle theta with the field. A current I flows along PQ. Hence, the electrons are drifted along QP with drift velocity Vd. If n is the number of free electrons per unit volume in the conductor, then the current is I is equal to NAVDE. Multiplying both sides by the length L of the conductor, therefore IL is equal to NAVDEL. Therefore, the current element vector IL is equal to minus NA vector VDEL. This is equation number 1. The negative sign in the equation indicates that the direction of the current is opposite to the direction of the drift velocity of the electrons. Since the electrons move under the influence of magnetic field, the magnetic Lorentz force on a moving electron, vector F is equal to minus E into vector VD cross vector B. This is equation number 2. The negative sign indicates that the charge of the electron is negative. The number of free electrons in the conductor N is equal to NAL. This is equation number 3. The magnetic Lorentz force on all the moving free electrons vector F is equal to N into vector F. Substituting the equations 2 and 3 in the above equation, vector F is equal to NAL into minus E into vector VD cross vector B. Vector F is equal to minus NALE. VD vector cross B vector. This is equation number 4. Substituting equation 1 in equation 4, vector F is equal to vector IL cross B vector. This total force on all the moving free electrons is the force on the current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe this channel for more videos.